Hi everybody and welcome to Dash of Charm tonight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be making a nice and simple chicken pot pie. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself. I know the last couple of videos have been really, really rough and I've gotten some really helpful feedback. So I really wanna thank everybody that's been watching and giving me some feedback and hopefully you can just make it a little bit better. Um, YouTube is definitely different from all of the other platforms being on a video and everything like that so I just want to say thank you guys for watching and following um, right now I wanted to introduce my other social media channels so I started a website it's www.dashofcharm.com there's a blog post that comes out every single week if you guys want to follow my Instagram it's dash underscore of underscore charm and then if you want to follow my Facebook www.facebook.com slash dash of charm three and then if you guys want to follow my YouTube channel this is it and you can find the YouTube channel actually connected to my website or any of my other social media platforms so if you want to go ahead and get started today we're gonna to be making the chicken pot pie so I went ahead and I preheated the oven to 425 go ahead and get started the first step is to make our chicken and cook it all the way through. To go ahead and make this chicken, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it on the regular pan, the stove top. It's about one fourth cup of olive oil. Keep in mind that you can use however much chicken you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put three pieces of skinless thighs in there, but you can use any kind of chicken. You can use rotisserie already cooked. You can use however many pieces you want. That's up to you. Okay, just go ahead and make sure that covers your pan. Go ahead and take your chicken, but you make sure that you wash it first. Always make sure that you wash your chicken, okay? This chicken is actually chicken thighs. Go ahead and take these thighs, place them in your pan. And as you guys can see, it's getting started. I've turned it up a little bit more because I accidentally added a little bit too much olive oil, but that's okay. Um, I turned it up to seven with flipping it every two to three minutes. See how there's still blood in that? We want to cook this until the blood is gone. So on my chicken, I went ahead and added salt, pepper, and complete seasoning. And I just sprinkled it on there, so that's to taste as well. And um, But it should be really, really good. I don't wanna put too, too much flavoring and seasoning and things like that in there because I don't want it to overpower the actual chicken pot pie, which we still wanna really, really taste those vegetables as well and things like that. Okay, everyone, so the chicken is still frying, but it's literally about to be done. I just wanted to show you guys that we are going to go ahead and take our corn. This is fresh corn, this is corn on the cob. I'm gonna take it with a knife and just cut up, cut the outsides. That's all it takes, just cut the outside of the corn. That's all you have to do. Um, I'm actually showing you guys this for some of you who haven't cut corn off corn of the cob. All you have to do is do it with a knife. They have invented corn on the cob tools to do this so it's easier but this is the best way right, guys yes um, if you're wondering yes this is the same YouTube video I just have two different um, boards down on my countertop so I'm kind of flipping back and forth I just went ahead and cut the chicken into some pieces right here I did it into um, small little pieces and that's typically what you should do cut the chicken up into small pieces um, so now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you guys how to cut a carrot and here we go so you guys have already seen me um, cut the corn on here so we're gonna go ahead and slice the carrots up really really thin We took two carrots for this, two heads of corn on the cob for this, three chicken thighs for this, and a handful of peas for this. Everything else is cut up. We've got ginger, we have onion here, 
Now we're gonna go ahead and take our potatoes. When you take the potatoes, make sure that you slice the outside of the skin. That's what I'm gonna be doing in this recipe. I'm gonna slice the outside of the skin and then I'm gonna cut them into little tiny pieces and probably cubes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my potatoes and I'm gonna cook them just a little, little tiny bit. Please keep in mind that while the potatoes are cooking, I put it on five for right now. I'm gonna turn it up a little tiny bit more. I am gonna put it um, between seven and eight and I'm just gonna go ahead and let that come to a boil because I cut the potatoes so small, they're not gonna take long to cook at all. Okay, everyone, so the potatoes have come to a boil. I've been cooking this for about two to three minutes. I'm actually gonna go ahead and strain them now and I'm gonna throw them in later. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start making the, the gravy that's gonna go in for the chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some butter um, for this, I would take a stick of butter if I were you. If you do have the margarine and the measurements, I would take a whole stick. Um, but I'm just going to have to kind of free ball. So let's do it. So I've got one spoon here. Now, oh, when I am melting the butter in the saucepan, I'm going to go ahead and put the heat on five. I will eventually turn it up to medium heat. So I got about three spoons for this. All right, so we are melting this butter down right now. As you guys can see, I put about three big spoonfuls. Gonna go ahead and let this melt down. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this down first and then we'll add it in. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit now. It was on five, I'm gonna put it on seven. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our um, onion, which is less than one fourth of a cup. Go ahead and stir that in there and let that sit for just a second. Okay, now we wanna go ahead and add a half a cup of all-purpose flour. Go ahead and stir that in there and turn that to low when you're doing that. So we have this going, we just stirred it together. You wanna go ahead and add in some chicken broth. Go ahead and add in about two cups of chicken broth. So I wanted to go ahead and put this back on medium heat because it is cooking. Take a cup of milk. This is whole milk. Just pour it in there. Go ahead and stir that. Hey guys, so I know that was probably a lot to take in for that step. I know I did a couple of things there, and this is a little bit more intermediate than beginner, and I'm very much aware of that, but I wanted to do this recipe because it was, it is one of the more popular holiday recipes. Um, so I'll just kind of talk you through what we just did once again. We went ahead and we put some butter in there, melted down the butter. We did put some onion in there, some chopped onion in there, we added flour, we added chicken broth, and we added whole milk, okay? So I know that was five ingredients. Try to keep up a little bit um, because you. I don't want you guys to get lost. I went ahead and said the measurements are ready, but I'll go ahead and add that into my description. I don't want you to get lost. Please keep up if this is something that you really, really wanna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the vegetables just a little bit. You don't typically have to cook them. Um, I prefer them to be cooked a little bit only because the carrots are a little stubborn. They're so hard. I put the gravy mixture on low while we're gonna be doing this so that way we don't burn anything and everything's staying the way that it should be. So now we're gonna cook the vegetables. I went ahead and I got a little bit more, about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna pour, pour this into my pan now and I'm gonna turn this on to medium heat, okay? I'm gonna let that warm up just a little bit in our pot. I went ahead and I cut about a little bit more, about a tablespoon or so of ginger. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the pan now, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna throw the carrots in first since that's the whole reason why we're even doing this in the first place. Carrots, our peas, our corn, and our potatoes. Okay. 
This has been in here for about four to five minutes. Go ahead and dump all of this in here, literally all of it. That's our mixture. Also, we can't forget the best part, the chicken. Go ahead and stir this in here, guys. Place it on back to medium heat from low back to medium because we want these to cook in here in this mixture. Okay, so uh, one thing that we're gonna do, it's been cooking for about seven minutes. I'm just gonna add some black pepper in there because we definitely wanna get some flavor in there. Add some salt, and this is to taste. I'm going to go ahead and add two herbs. Speaking of herbs, please don't forget to check out my recipe um, when I talk about the top 10 herbs that you should use in your daily meals, that is um, at www.dashofcharm.com slash blog. Okay, rosemary. So we just want to go ahead, just pick it off and just kind of throw it in there. We're just trying to get some extra flavor. That's all. And same thing with my thyme. It's a little bit older, so it's more on the dry side, but... I'm just gonna go ahead, take a little bit, sprinkle it. All the seasonings in this recipe are gonna be to tasting. And it looks like our gravy is thick enough. Mix that in there. Our gravy is literally thick enough. So I'm gonna go ahead, I just turned the oven off. That was on sitting on medium heat this entire time. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pour that into our pie crust. But we're gonna go ahead and put the pie crust in the bowl first. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this pie crust. So it's not the most perfect pie crust. That's okay, you don't have to get it perfect. Now I think I put just a tad too much. I wanted to show you guys I'm doing something a little bit special for this one. Um, for the pie crust, I'm gonna go ahead and actually use some cookie cutters so we can be festive. Uh, close together as you possibly can, okay? I took this and I covered my crust. I was supposed to make the bottom crust longer, but that's okay. Now I'm adding these back to it. All right, everybody, most people recommend to put the pie on 30 to 40 minutes. I, it's actually just went off. I only placed it on 30 minutes because I already cooked a little bit of it, so it should be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Grab your oven mitts. Don't forget to grab your oven mitts. Most important part, you don't wanna burn your hands and be SOL, so grab your oven mitts. Take this out. Okay, go ahead and turn off your oven. And as you can see, this is my final product. Now, I didn't close the crust enough. That's something that I should work on. But it looks pretty good. Enjoy, guys. And I wanted to let you guys know that I really, really appreciate you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my channel. I know that it just started, and I know that the other videos were a little eh. So... Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please let me know. And if you don't like it, please comment or reach out to me. I'm always open for, you know, helpful feedback on what I can do to improve. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.